Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have an Adobe XD tutorial for you guys. We're going to be creating a landing page for a modern browser. So we're going to be creating exactly what you see here. It's a nice colorful layout. I'm going to walk you guys through how to design this in Adobe XD. If you want to download the project file, the link will be down in the description and that will get you to the starting point for the tutorial. Today's video is sponsored by Milanote. Milanote is a bit different than traditional software. It's more like working on a wall in a creative studio. It allows you to map out your projects, gather and organize all of your inspiration in one convenient place, and it also allows you to collaborate with your colleagues or clients in real time. As a designer, it's an essential part of my workflow, and this awesome tool is free, so check out the link in the description. So to start off the tutorial, I'm gonna make sure I have the grid layout checked. We're just using a standard 12 column grid layout. And I'm going to type out the word browser. And I'm going to go to my character styles and I have some preset for us. I'm going to select the 30 pixel layout, which will be our H3. And I'm going to set this to the second column here and we'll do about 35 spacing from the top of the artboard. So that's going to be our logo. Next to that, we're gonna have some links and it's gonna be a very simple navigation. We'll just say about for the first one. And in our character styles, let's select the body text. And then I'm gonna change the color of this to our darkest bluish black color. I'm just gonna zoom in, make sure this is centered up with that text. And then we'll do 40 spacing, holding Alt and Shift to drag out a duplicate. And I'll rename this how it works. I'm gonna double check that spacing and I'm gonna keep doing this for the rest of our pages. I'm gonna select everything and make sure they're centered. And then I'm gonna create one more link and I'll place that over here on the second to last column. We'll align this to the right and this is gonna say download browser. We'll set that to our orange color and that will work as our download button. A nice simple text button. Their overall website is very simple and clean. So we're gonna start off with a heading with a paragraph and two buttons on our landing section here. So I'm just gonna type out a modern browser. I'm gonna align that to the left and then I'll set that to our largest font which is 50 pixels and it is a medium. So this will be our H1. Let's just set that about 260 pixels from the top of the page. I'm holding Alt to get these guides. You'll see if I hover over different elements, it tells me the spacing in relation to the element I have selected. So 260 and below that, I'm just gonna drag out a text area. We'll do this uh, three columns wide and I'm just gonna put in a bit of text there and I'm gonna paste in some lorem ipsum. So I'm gonna do about four lines of text. I'll just delete the rest of this paragraph. And we're gonna change the color of this to make it a little lighter to this gray color. And then I'm gonna adjust the bottom of that so that it touches the bottom. And we'll touch the bottom of our heading and then hold shift and press the down arrow. That'll add 10 pixel spacing in between that and our body text. And then we're gonna drop that down to 13. Next, we're gonna need a button. So I'm just going to drag out a rectangle. On this rectangle, I'm gonna set it to 180 wide by 60 pixels tall. And I'll just grab the corner and drag it all the way in so we have a nice round on each side. And we'll set that to orange. We can remove the border and then we'll place some text inside of that. We'll say download. I'm gonna make sure this is set to our body sized font, so 17 pixels. And I'm gonna set that to white. And I'll just drag that into our rectangle. Selecting both of them, we can go up to the Align Tools and center those together, and Command-G to group them together. Once we've done that, we'll just place this 40 pixels below the bottom of our paragraph, and we are done with this selection. I'm gonna hold Alt and drag out a duplicate of our button, 20 spacing from the left of the original. On this one, I'm gonna double click to go inside the grouping and select the text, and we'll first change this to say Learn More, and we'll recenter that up. With the text selected, I'm gonna set this to our blackish blue color. 
and then select the rectangle and turn off the fill. So we did that to give us a good positioning on the text. Since we're dealing with a browser, we actually need some images of that. So I went ahead and created some here in Adobe XD and I will provide the image files for those in the project file. So you guys don't have to worry about creating those. So I'm gonna paste that in and I'm gonna position this about 160 pixels below this button. And I'm also going to drag in this entire area in one column. So now we have two columns of spacing on each side and that'll match up this image that we have here. I've also went ahead and in Illustrator, I've created a basic shape and I'm just gonna drag that out on the screen and I'm gonna hit Command Shift G to ungroup it. And we'll just position this somewhere around there. I'm gonna hold Alt and create a duplicate, just rotate it slightly so it's not the same orientation as this one and just hold shift and alt and we'll scale it from the corner. And we're just gonna put this around there. Command shift left square bracket key to send it all the way back. And this is gonna go kind of in the corner of this image. I'm also gonna change this to our red color that I have set in the assets panel. So that's looking good. So I'm gonna zoom out and I'm just going to select the artboard by double clicking on it. And we're just gonna drag down to make quite a bit of room. So I'm actually gonna drag down just a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna hold Alt and grab this shape and rotate it slightly once again. And this time we'll rotate it around there. We're gonna set it to yellow and this one's gonna get a little bit larger than the last one. And I'm gonna hold Alt and make another duplicate of that. And we'll scale this one up just a little bit larger. So we're going from smallest to largest down the page. And this one will scale up to a decent size. I'm also gonna change the rotation a little bit somewhere around that and we'll set that to blue. So we'll just drag that into a good place visually. And something else that I'm going to add is a slight detail. I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm gonna to go to about the center of this shape and just click to make a point. Go to the center about this shape, click to make another point and repeat that until we get to the blue shape, just like that. With that path selected, I'm gonna go into the assets panel, right click, apply as border on this light gray color. Then we're gonna send that to the back with command shift, left square bracket key. And that's just a nice little subtle detail. So if I select live preview, when we look at the desktop preview, we have this line just here in the background that's looking quite nice. So if we look at what we have so far, we have a nice little landing section. It's telling what the product is, so what the user is actually viewing. Then when we scroll down a little bit, we get a good view of what the browser is gonna look like. And then we wanna tell some details about it. So that's what we're gonna do here in this next section. So I'm just gonna drag out a little bit more and we're gonna have some paragraphs of text here. So I'm just gonna grab my type tool. And for the first one, we'll just create a heading called created for developers. And then we'll select the size 30 font. This will be our H3. And we'll just position that around there for now. I'm going to go up to the top, grab this body text, hit command C, and then down here, we'll just paste that in with command V. Since we're using no real copy in this, I'm gonna paste in a bit of other lorem ipsum just to give this a little bit of variety. So I'll paste in a paragraph there and then we'll delete the excess. And then I'll hold Alt and drag down. I'm gonna place this 13 pixels below. And I'm actually going to bump this up three pixels. So we have 13 spacing here and 13 spacing there. Same thing here, I'm gonna change the lorem ipsum to a different paragraph. And we'll just remove the rest. So to give this a bit of color and some more detail, I'm gonna drag out an icon. And this is, I believe, from Feather icons. So if you Google that, you'll find those. It's a great icon set. And I'm gonna put this 13 pixels above the title. So everything here has nice even spacing. And this is the orange color over here that we're using. So that's going to draw your eye to that, give it a little bit of color. Then I'm gonna select all of those. I'm gonna unselect that line and create a duplicate. So I'm gonna grab both of those paragraphs and we'll just center them up to the page. We'll change the title of this next one to multi-browser support. And we'll drag out an icon that corresponds with that. 
In this case, I have two circles merging together and we'll delete the code icon and then we'll make sure this is 13 pixels above. So now that we have that, we can select both of those and hold alt and drag down. And here I'm gonna put about 100 spacing just to give a nice amount of white space in between these paragraph sets. And the next one's gonna be a modern browser. But of course you can name these whatever you would like. And then on this next one, the final one we're gonna call built-in editing. So the idea here is this is a browser for developers. It's gonna allow them to develop websites easier. So this icon right here, if they select that, it's gonna allow them to edit the code in real time and then save that to their source files so that they don't have to keep switching back and forth between editors. That's kind of the idea I had when I was developing this web page. So uh, we're gonna change the icons now for the new text that we have in here. So I'm just gonna delete the original ones. For a modern browser, I have a layout icon. We'll just drag that in. This is yellow. And for built-in editing, we have this nice little edit icon, and this is a blue color. Nice. So those correspond to the colors that we're using with the shapes here. So now I've double-clicked on the artboard and just dragged it down a little bit for some more spacing. I'm gonna zoom in. So below this content section, now we're going to advertise the dark theme. So we want that to have its own special section. So I'm gonna make this 1080 high. And we'll just put quite a bit of white space in there. We'll try to match the amount of white space we have here. That's a little large. So I'm actually gonna grab all these paragraphs and just bump them up a little bit. So let's go with about 300 spacing there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll do the same here. So we'll grab that, about 30 more. That'll work. And for this section, I'm gonna select the rectangle, remove the border, and we'll apply the blue color that we're using. And in here, we're going to have an H1 that says go dark going to be the biggest font and we'll set that to white. I'm also going to center line that text and then center it up to the artboard. It's going to align that visually so we'll place it around there and then we'll have a bit of text under that. We'll just say explore the web at night. We're going to change that to our body text, white, and then I'm going to drop the opacity on this down to 90% just to lighten it up a little bit. And we'll center that to the artboard and place that 13 pixels below that H1. So now I have the same browser image that we use up here, but in a dark color theme. So I'll just paste that in. And we'll put that somewhere around there. It's about 70 some pixels below that. Doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. And then we're gonna double click the background. And I want this to overhang just a little bit. So we have a nice drop shadow on each of these images already applied. Uh, so I want that to have a nice pop from that background. So we'll just add a little bit of overhang there, not too much. And to make this nice and colorful and stand out a little bit more, we're gonna have some shapes here in the background. So I'm just going to grab this one, hold alt and drag down a duplicate. So we'll start with a yellow shape and we're just going to make this quite a bit away smaller. And we'll place that here in the corner. And we'll put it around there. I'm gonna hold Alt and create a duplicate and I'll set this to orange. I'm gonna grab that orange again, rotate it and place it there. Just barely noticing that one. And then finally creating another duplicate of that shape, making it a little bit larger and we'll apply the red color to it. And then we'll send it backward with command left square bracket key so it's behind the orange. So that looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna bump up all of this a little bit. Same thing with the text. There we go, so if we hit the desktop preview. So we got a nice little landing section, nice and colorful. We scroll down, we get some information about the browser, some of the features, and we have a go dark section. And then now we have this white space down here below that we need to fill in. So I'm actually going to grab the original paragraph up here. So I'm just gonna select that, Command C to make a copy. And down here we'll hit Command V to paste that in. And I'm gonna position this around 300 pixels below the bottom, that dark themed browser. And this is going to advertise the quick editor. So let's delete the learn more button and then I'm gonna grab the download button 
and we'll change that to learn more. And this time we can change the copy. So let's go and grab some new lorem ipsum. And I'm gonna make this three lines instead of four. So I'm actually going to drag this up and we'll need to realign our button 40 spacing below. Again, I've already created the image, so I'm just gonna grab that and paste it in. We'll just center it up here with the text visually and just align that here to the second to last column. And we'll just grab this, hold Alt and drag down to make a duplicate. I'm gonna paste in another image. Let's drag down the artboard a little bit so we can get some spacing in here. And we'll change this one to multi-browser. Change our lorem ipsum. And let's drag the browser down just a little bit more. And I'm gonna go grab the navigation. So I'll just select that, Command C. And then down here at the bottom, Command V to paste that in. 35 pixels from the bottom of the browser to match our navigation. And I'm gonna delete all the links except one and we'll call this privacy and terms. Create a duplicate, call this about browser. And this next one over here we'll call help. And we'll also set that to our bluish black. And next to this one, we're gonna have a help icon. So I'm actually gonna drag that in. And I'm gonna hit Command K to add that to the symbols for you guys. So that will already be over here in the symbols panel for you. And we'll just drag that in next to help. And we'll just put that 10 pixels to the left of help. So we'll grab all that, make sure it's centered together. And now we just need to put a few more shapes in here. So I'm just going to hold Alt and grab this, to make a duplicate, rotate it slightly, and we'll change this to blue. Grab it again and scale it up. Rotate it. This one's gonna be yellow. And then I'm gonna go up to the top and grab this small orange one, Command C and Command V to make a duplicate. And we'll just rotate it again. And now we're gonna do the thing that we did at the top of the page. I'm gonna grab the pen tool from the center of from this reddish shape. I'm gonna click and make a point, go to the center of the blue one, to the center of the yellow, and finally to the center of the orange. With that path selected, right click, apply as border on our light gray, Command Shift, left square bracket key to send it to the back. So let's hit the desktop preview. And we can scroll through and take a look at the website. Thanks again to Milanote for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna check out their product for planning your next creative project, make sure you check out the link down in the description. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed creating this colorful landing page in Adobe XD. If you guys wanna see more tutorials like this, let me know by clicking that thumbs up icon. Subscribe for more design related content. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.